Hi guys, this is Daniel and today I'm going to talk about the Mad Max Plotter. Uh, the thing is that I've been using the Swar Plotter and with Swar Plotter on my system I'm getting about 22 to 24 plots a day. Uh, and now I gonna uh, I just stopped using the Swar Plotter. I gonna install the Mad Max and see and compare them together to see how many plots I can get out of the Mad Max with uh, with the same system. So here is how we can install and run the Mad Max on a Windows 10 system. First, you, we need to go to uh, github.com uh, and uh, download this MISC file for Mad Max Windows. Once in once it's uh, downloaded, you can uh, save it uh, somewhere. I'm gonna save it in my C folder. So first, cut here. Uh, I'm gonna create a new folder for Mad Max. Alright, so now you have to extract the file. I'm gonna extract to MICS and here is the extracted file. Now we have to open the PowerShell window. I'm gonna run it as uh, administrator. Here it is. All right. Uh, first thing that you need to do is to run this uh, execution command. It will uh, allow you to execute some policy that you need to run for this, and then you pre uh, press Y and allow it. Okay. Now that it's done. You should create this file uh, with, yeah, this one. All right, uh, so these are the commands that gonna run uh, the Mad Max uh, and I'm gonna save it in a, in a uh, PS1 format so I can run it with uh, uh, PowerShell. Uh, here is the number of uh, loops that you're gonna have. I set it to 10. And then uh, here you have to uh, put your uh, directory where, where the uh, shared underline plot.exe is for the Mad Max. Mine, I put it in the C drive in the Mad Max and then in MICS. Uh, MISC folder and then G underline plotter.exe. Okay. You need to put the first key, pub, uh, public key one is your full key, and then uh, public key two is your farmer key. To get that, you can uh, just uh, run this command. So you need to put where the chia exe file is. Uh, my path is this one. And then uh, type keys show after that. Uh, don't forget to put the spaces. Um, and then if you press enter, it's gonna show you the, your farmer key, pool key, and also some other information. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna reveal my keys, so. I'm gonna pause the video uh, and then get my keys and uh, come back. Alright, so here is the output. You get the fingerprint, uh, master public key, and then farmer public key, and pool public keys, and also mm, uh, some other information here. Uh, so, what you, you, what you need to do, uh, you need to take the pool key and put it in the first one and then the farmer key and put it on the second one 
All right, so after you replace this key, uh, here you have your first temp directory. I uh, have uh, one tra SSD NVMe drive here, so I'm gonna use that as my first one. And then uh, I have uh, three tra on uh, drive D, which is uh, RAID 0, uh, one terabyte with a two terabyte uh, SSD, and I'm gonna uh, use it as the second temp. Uh, these first and second temp uh, are, are not like what uh, what we had in the store plot manager. It's different here. In here, it's gonna use 25% of the first one uh, to write the data, and then 75% of the second folder to uh, for the plotting. And then once the uh, plots are finished, it's gonna they gonna end up in uh, in the first temp folder. Uh, the MathMax plotter recommended to use a RAM as your second uh, temp drive uh, because, uh, as you know, they're not gonna uh, they don't have that that TBW issue which you have with SSDs and the RAM not gonna burn up after uh, certain amount of writes, so you can use the RAM for uh, indefinitely. Uh, but the thing is that I don't have much RAM in my system. Uh, at least you need 118 gig of RAM. I, I don't have that much, so I'm just gonna use my SSDs for this and see what's gonna happen. Here is the number of threads. So it depends on your CPU. Mine has 12 core with 24 threads. I'm gonna use 22 threads for mine. And then the buckets, uh, which is the default, uh, 7 means 128 buckets, which is the default for the plotter. All right, so now you have to save this in, in a folder. I'm gonna uh, use the file where I put my keys in and save it, and I'm gonna come back after a short pass. All right, guys. So I saved it in in the same folder uh, where I uh, extract the uh, MadMax uh, files, the, the exe files, and I saved it as a chia_plotter.ps1. Don't forget to uh, save it uh, on a PS1 f uh, format. So let's go back to PowerShell, and you need to go to the folder where you saved your file so mine is in uh, drive C what you what you can do is just simply copy this and then right click and at the end you need to put the uh, plotter the file that you saved the file name that you saved let me just get this right it's chia plotter ps here it is and uh, press enter once you press enter it's gonna reveal again my uh, keys I don't want to do that so I'm gonna again pause the video and uh, show you the output all right so I just had to go back to the directory and then run the uh, file from here uh, and it seems it's working as you can see I have the number of threads 22 uh, number of buckets 128 which is the default pool public key farmer public key and then my first directory second directory and then the plot which is already being created it took about 27 seconds for my first table and then the 180 uh, 1.4 second for my second table and it's uh, building it up so what i gonna do guys is i gonna let it run for the next 24 hours and uh, then uh, compare it with the soar manager and see how many plots i can get out of this one 
uh, I know for store manager I got about 20 to 22 to 24 plus per day so let's see how many plus I gonna get uh, out of if you wanna see the results in my next video please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell button uh, so you get the noti notification when I uh, put up the next video alright guys I hope it was useful for you and thank you